What's going on guys? It's Ed here at Echo 24 Tactical. What I got here is the Mark 18 by Daniel Defense, the Radium Weapons ADAC lower, uh, the ambidextrous lower uh, with the Wilson Combat Pistol Grip. Uh, this did start as a full Daniel Defense AR pistol after they came out with their ambi releases on the lower. Daniel Defense does not make an individual lower and I am a South Paul shooter. So I went ahead and got the Radium Weapons and threw it on here. And uh, let's get into the review, guys. Good afternoon guys, this is Ed here over here at Echo 24 Tactical. So myself and my dog Dixie Gale here be joining us to talk about the Daniel Defense Mark 18 and the Radiant Weapons uh, lower that I currently have here. It's roughly, I don't know, probably about 64 degrees here in Charlotte, North Carolina, a little cooler than what I typically remember this time of the year. But um, I'm taking full advantage of that, sitting by the fire. Um, I have some cherry wood burning, so I have that nice cherry wood aroma. Typically, I use that stuff for smoking, but I just needed a couple pieces um, for today, so that's what I decided to go with. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, so, the Daniel Defense Mark 18, I've had this AR pistol probably for about a year now. Um, I've wanted it for a very long time on and off, and whenever I decided, okay, now's the time to do it, I'd go spend my money on something else. Um, and I, it, it was one of those things I really wanted, but I kept putting it off. So if any of you guys out there have ever wanted something really bad, but put it off to buy something else, that's kind of sort of what happened with this. And now that I've owned it, I wish I bought this a long time ago because everything else that I've replaced it with in the past in lieu of investing in this, I don't nearly love as much as this firearm. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the size, if it's the um, compact feeling of this um, this firearm, um, if it's how everything's balanced on the rifle, how it shoots. It could be a combination of it all. Honestly, I don't really know, but I just absolutely adore this rifle. Um, so, like I said in the intro there, uh, when I was out shooting this. Um, ever since Daniel Defense came out with their Mark III's, um, and they had the Ambi Lowers, um, I've called and spoke to them on a couple occasions, you know, uh, seeing if I can obtain a lower for my Mark 18, because I am a, um, uh, left-handed shooter, especially when it comes to rifles. Uh, pistols, I'll do both hands. Um, but I prefer my right hand when it comes to, um, pistols. Um, not AR pistols, like pistols, pistols. Sorry for that. Um, so because I couldn't obtain one, I started heavily researching um, AR lowers um, that were ambi. Because we're getting to a point in the industry to where several manufacturers offer it. Um, so I ended up ordering the Radian. Um, price wasn't an issue for me. Um, so I was just pretty much shopping to what I felt would work best, what looked awesome, the whole nine. Um, so I kind of honed in on Radian. Radian was currently in stock. And um, so I decided to go with it. Um, 
I've had this radian lower on this Daniel Defense probably about one month, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and I have another one on order that should be shipping soon. Um, the other one on order, um, so I have a Daniel Defense DD4 V9 um, in the safe. Um, I will be putting that lower on that upper. Um, and then I'm planning on ordering one more and I'm looking at the 13.9 inch. Uh, I think I'm going to do the pin and weld by Blackout Defense. Uh, just the upper because they do not offer a ambi lower. Um, so after using this lower, I don't know, two or three weeks, um, it's actually one of the It literally feels like Christmas to me uh, because I've spent my entire life shooting AR rifles and pistols and having to compensate for the fact that I am left eye dominant and shooting um, these rifles set up for right hand shooters uh, to compensate my quote unquote handicap or however you want to explain it. Um, so being that I can now do what a right-handed shooter has always been able to do. It's like Christmas to me. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, after receiving the AR lower and um, by Radian and playing with it and everything else, I'm just happy with it. I don't, I don't need to explore other manufacturers at the moment. Um, there are a couple more affordable ones out there, um, like ADM Manufacturing. I think they offer one that has like a little swing piece here for the bolt lock and everything but I really like the fact that this magazine button here literally holds the bolt bolt open so if I get a double feed um, which um, actually occurred uh, the first time I took this to the range first time in real time without simulating um, I have to find that video um, but I paused everything that I knew in life and I said I let me change how I'm doing this because I have a lower that now allows me to make this easier. Um, so I can go ahead and drop the magazine, bring the slide back, at the same time holding the magazine button, my slide is locked open. And I had very little movements all in between that. Now I can go ahead, clear the, clear what's going on, uh, clear the double feed. You got rounds hanging out of the magazine, whip those out, either use the same magazine or put a new one in. And now I can come up, feed it, and I could drop the bolt from here. And then I'm back in the fight. It's absolutely amazing that lefties can do this now. Um, they also have the ability to use the magazine release here and or uh, put the bolt, um, lock the bolt to the rear there as well. Um, I do have the radiant safeties on here. Um, I put the little short stubby one on the left hand side of the rifle. Uh, so even though Daniel Defense had uh, ambi safeties, I did put the radiant safeties on their original lowers immediately. Um, because of where my finger is and, and how I position myself, that long safety really interfered and bothered with me. Um, so putting the shorter of the two ambi safeties by Radian on the left hand side it just makes it much 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 more comfortable um, I'm not going to invest um, a, an arm and a leg talking about this lower uh, you know I believe Radian kind of speaks for themselves um, they do have the beveled magwell um, it's just a amazing thought out idea um, as of right now, 30 days in, I have no complaints with the lower. Um, I've probably put 2,500 rounds through this lower so far. Um, no complaints. I mean, I got a couple paint chips or something going on, but that's to be expected. I'm not easy on my rifles. I've said that before. Um, all my, all, all my firearms are tools to me. Um, so I don't baby them. Um, uh, I don't physically abuse them you know but I I'm hard on them um, and just as long as they can maintain all that the aesthetics afterwards I don't really care about um, am I gonna Dixie lie down my dog's trying to play with herself um, 
I'm gonna get a round can this or Cerakote this or something. I don't know. Um, I I really enjoy the aesthetic look of just a black rifle. Um, I have rattle can and stuff in the past. Uh, maybe I'll just get another Mark 18 uh, to do that with. I'm just thoroughly enjoying this one just being black for the time being. Um, the Mark 18 upper that I have on here, uh, which was purchased as a complete um, AR pistol in the past, um, this was my second Daniel Defense I purchased. And I've always wanted to purchase Daniel Defense, um, but like I said, I always put it on the back burner and replace it with something else. Um, after owning them, I think they are a damn good company. Um, everything has a solid fit. Uh, the way they're connecting their rails um, to the upper receivers, uh, the hammer forged barrels. Um, they do have a one in seven twist. I'm mainly a one in eight twist guy. Um, but realistically, even bench resting this and seeing what I'm doing at 100 yards um, with 62 grain bullets. I mean, I'm getting half MOA, give or take. I didn't precisely look at it, but, you know, just holding a, holding a quarter up to it, you know, you can kind of gauge what, what the hell's going on um, or holding your fingernail up to it. Um, I have been very, very, very hard when running this um, rifle, and, dude, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm just really happy. Um, I love the way this is balanced. I love the way it feels. Um, I love the rigidity of the uh, entire rifle. Um, it literally feels bulletproof. It, you know, it feels bombproof. It's incredible. Um, when when you hold something like this and you shoot something like this, you literally feel like you have something that is mil spec plus. Um, and that's what Daniel Defense prides himself on is mil spec plus. Even their mil spec plus triggers, uh, people get kind of irritated because they're like, "Oh, that trigger sucks." I don't know what you guys were shooting in the military if you served or what your departments have or whatever your grandfather's rifle was, but those mil spec triggers they put in there, do they are horrendous and you learn to make them work. Um, so when people on YouTube were saying like, oh, it's okay, but it's still a mil spec, spec trigger, no. The stock triggers from Daniel Defense are not a mil spec trigger. Um, they still have a very hard break when you come up to the wall. But the quality of that trigger, it's so much better. It's so much better. Uh, that's my opinion on that versus a regular mil spec trigger. Um, I actually kept the original trigger on the uh, Daniel Defense Mark 18 for the past year. Um, I've recently just put my uh, Blackout Defense trigger in it, the three pound MPS zero reset trigger in the Radiant Lower um, after I switched it over because I absolutely love Blackout Defense's triggers. Um, I think they're one of the best triggers out there, period. Um, and I don't care who people think they stole it from or where it evolved from. I don't care. Um, I like these triggers. Um, overall, I just think this is a remarkable package, and I'm very comfortable and happy with this package. Um, I installed the LOL Tactical Brace on it probably about two and a half months ago because I got the Vertex Gamut Checkpoint Bag to carry this around. Um, in this folded configuration, this rifle fits in the bag nicely. Um, wasn't sure what I thought about the LOL Tactical um, or any type of folding uh, brace adapter for the longest time. I just continued to shoo it off. And I just decided just to do it, just try it. If I don't like it, just put it back together. You know, I understand it's a pretty penny to make that happen, but I did it. And I'm happy I did it. You know, I don't have any regrets on it. Um, I do have the S, um, SMB, SMB M4 brace on here. Uh, I have the stock sock on here. I've covered the stock sock in a past video if you want to check it out. Um, I have the Daniel Defense irons on here. I have the Hollow Sun Ames um, on here. Um, I get a lot of looks over this Ames. I really, really love it. Um, I don't find any anything I don't like about it. Uh, if I could find a little taller mount for it, I'd probably be a little happier. Um, but th th this is for another day, but you know, I have an astigmatism. Um, so I absolutely love aim point, but aim point looks like a, a shooting star through my, through the lens. Um, EOTech, I can't even see it. It just looks like a blob. 
uh, the hollow sun, I can see what's going on. It just looks like a really tiny, tiny star, or the circle on the cross, or the circle on the dot, I forget exactly what it is, um, comes through relatively good. Um, so it's something that I can realistically use and enjoy. Um, I have the Cloud Defensive Rain 2.0 on here. It's the first Cloud Defensive light that I ordered. I ordered it right after it came out. Very impressed with the light. Um, and I'll get into all the specifics on this stuff later, but you know, I've owned a lot of other lights in the past. I used to carry a whole lot of other different lights on duty and stuff. And This Candela versus Lumens, I didn't really know any of that. This light is absolutely incredible. If you have the opportunity to try it out or order one, I recommend you get it. I have the Surefire War Comp on here. Um, I plan on getting the Surefire suppressors here shortly, um, and I'm putting these um, these muzzle devices on all my firearms. Um, pretty much, that's all I have to say today, guys. Um, you know, there are there are numerous reviews out out there on the Mark 18. It's a very popular pistol and or rifle. Um, with the new amnesty period coming up with the uh, pistol braces, I may not wait until that time period. Um, I think I'm getting ready to do a Form 1 and just make it an SBR. Um, I have the fingerprint cards and everything else. Um, I have a my second child due any day now. So I want to make sure I get that out of the way before I start all that paperwork and having to mail things quickly and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, you know, I'll give you guys a close-up of this uh, rifle. Uh, excuse me, this pistol. Um and uh let you guys get a good look at it i have numerous videos out there of me shooting this pistol um if you have the opportunity to pick up the mark 18 whether it's the riz 2 or the riz 3 check it out um i i would highly recommend this and or just pick up the uh, um the upper and throw it on your own uh lower um the reason why I decided to go with the quad rail and not wait for the RIS-3 is I absolutely love the quad rail. Um, I get a lot of flack over that. Oh, M-Lock is what they're using in Special Forces now. All this, all that. Dude, I have a very big hand. I enjoy the fact that that is just um, extra stuff that my hand can hold on to. And I love the aesthetic look to it. I don't, it, it may be called a cheese grater, but it don't, it, it don't hurt my hand. It's absolutely fine. Um, I just love the quad rail. Always have. I think it's just awesome. Uh, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with the M-Lock, and I do own M-Lock. I just think the quad rail is awesome. It is heavier, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but I want to thank you guys for uh, checking out this review today with me, sitting by the fire here in my backyard, and for the time being when my dog decided to join me. I don't even know where my dog is. Dixie! Oh, she's sitting on the other side of the table there. Um, but if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And, um, uh, until the next video, guys, um, uh, if you have any suggestions on what you would like me to review, um, I have a little bit of everything. Um, I'm not endorsed by anybody. This is just me out doing my own thing. Um, so if there's anything on the internet that you are not finding, uh, let me see if I could find it for you and or... Um, let me see if I currently have it, and I'll see if I can assist you guys at all possible uh, before you invest your time and money into it. Um, at the same token, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, dude, I don't know what it is, but ever since I started this YouTube channel, like subscribers like motivate me. I'm like, yes, I got two more today. Yes, or whoa, I just got 25 today, you know? Um, so I do appreciate you guys subscribing and uh, and making this worth it. I know my original video, I said, oh, that doesn't really bother me. Now that it's, now that subscribers are starting to come through and I know people are actively watching me, I actually enjoy it. I think it's super cool. Um, you know, I don't have all the time in the world to make these videos. I do sell yachts and boats for a living. Um, ever since I got out of the military, that's what I do now. Um, so I guess I work on a vacation. I do enjoy my lifestyle. Uh, from time to time, you may see me put boats and yachts um, on shorts and or on videos um, I do have another uh, boating YouTube page I don't technically want to give out the name of it right now because I may be changing it um, but as of right now it's Ed Florentino boat sales um, I may be changing it to like echo 24 boat sales or something so I can keep the echo 24 all the same 
Um, I get a lot of questions where Echo 24 comes from. So I got out as a patrol supervisor at Naval Weapons Station, Maryland, Cold Sack, New Jersey. Um, I was a master of arms. I specialized in anti-terrorism, force protection, law enforcement. And my call sign when I got out was Echo 24. Um, so that just kind of carried with me and evolved with me. Uh, I was also a plank owner on board USS Arlington LPD 24. So I, just, I, you know, I just like the way those two in, intermingle and mix. Um, so, so that's where Echo 24 came from. Um, if you guys had any questions about that, um, I do have merchandise and shirts uh, being sold on Bonfire. I have the link in the description below. If you want to go ahead and check it out, help support me. I'd appreciate that. Um, but until next time, guys, have a great. Um, weekend enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video take care of yourself